Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Wednesday, November 19th, 2014. Oh, I can't believe we've reached the midweek point already for uh, this week's shows. So, let's get underway with the first four contestants. These were the four names that George Gray called to come on down to start the show. And they were... Clayton, Anisha, Walter, and Emily. And the model that handed Drew the mic at the handoff today was the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. Now on to our first item up for bids. It was a nine-piece Le Creuset cast iron and stoneware cookware set modeled by the marvelous Manuela Arbolias on the turntable. Nice to see her modeling once again. Here were the bids. Clayton, $650. Anisha, $300. Walter, $710. And Emily, $800. And the actual retail price of the cookware set from Le Creuset was $900. Emily was off by $100 and is contestant number one to play a pricing game. And for Emily, she had a chance to win... A trip for two to Fiji. In its round trip coach from Los Angeles, of course, for a six night stay in a beach in beachfront accommodations at the Kulu Bay Resort, plus daily meals and unlimited kayaking and snorkeling. That was modeled by Rachel at door number four. A prize worth seven thousand seven hundred dollars. Emily can win that trip to Fiji playing Secret X. Now, Manuel was over by the two small prizes, but before I tell you what they are, Emily placed her free X that she received from Drew and placed it on the top right corner. Now on to those two small prizes. They were a Melita tea kettle and a Greek yogurt maker. First for the tea kettle... It was either $49 or $70. Emily believed the price was $49. And Manuela revealed the price of the tea kettle to be $49. So Emily wins herself another X, her first earned X. And she placed that on the bottom left corner. Now on to the Greek yogurt maker. It was either $63 or $85. Emily believed the price was $85. And Manuela revealed the price to be... $63. Had a feeling it was going to be that price. So, the only way Emily can win is if the secret X was located in the middle. If it was on the top or on the bottom, no trip to Fiji for Emily. And when Drew pressed the button to reveal where the secret X was hiding, it turned out that it was located... Uh-oh! The middle! Emily is on her way to Fiji! Oh, excellent! And a very lucky win for her. Emily wins that trip to Fiji along with the tea kettle, totaling $7,749. And including her one bid prize, Emily currently won $8,649. What a great start. All right, it was now time for the next contestant to be called to come on down. That person was... Sarah, whose name is spelled without an H at the end. And the next item up for bids was 
a Grace Audio Digital Portable Internet Radio Package modeled by Rachel. The bids were Sarah $1,100, Clayton $1,250, Anisha $1,205, and Walter $1. And the actual retail price of the portable internet radio package was $700. Walter was contestant number two to play a pricing game. And we learned that Walter is from Victorville in California. And Walter was going to be playing one wrong price for a chance to win the following three prizes. They were a Grill Dome barbecue smoker modeled by Manuela, a Valentino Italian satin and lace ladies shoes collection modeled by Rachel, and a Plessers.com Energy Star qualified washer and electric dryer also modeled by Rachel. They say it's lesser at Plesser, but Based on the, some of the prizes from Plessers.com, that's false advertising. Because it's led to pricing and wins with expensive prices. Now, for the barbecue smoker, that was priced at $995. The Valentino designer shoes were $2,585. And the washer and dryer was $3,398. As we all know, one of these three prices is wrong. If Walter can find that one wrong price, he wins all three prizes. Walter believed that the shoes from Valentino were the one wrong price. So Rachel was going to reveal the price of the Valentino shoes. If they were anything other than $2,585, Walter wins all three prizes. And when Rachel revealed the price of the shoes from Valentino, it turned out that they were... $2,585. That price was right, and unfortunately, Walter was wrong. That did seem look like a familiar price to me. He should have chose the barbecue smoker. I really wish he had gone with that. Manuela revealed the price to be $1,599. That was the right price. And the washer and dryer, of course, was $3,398. Walter still has the internet radio package, though. All right, after the first commercial break was over, the next contestant was called to come on down. That person was... Mark, who spells his name with a C at the end and not a K. Our next item up for bids was a pair of DXG underwater cameras with wrist remotes and two 32 gig SanDisk memory cards included, brought down from the jewelry elevator. The bids were Mark, $475, Sarah, $375, Clayton, $1. Not really the smartest strategy. And Anisha? $400. The actual retail price of the underwater cameras with the wrist remotes and the memory cards was $570. Mark was contestant number three to play a pricing game. And we have discovered that Mark is a facialist. And he was online um, to, be on the, to be on the prices, right? He arrived at the studio at 3.30 in the morning. Wow! Pretty, 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 pretty early. Now, for Mark, because of this loyalty of his, he had a chance to win for himself... A NEW CAR! But since Drew and George were, um... were feeling uh, very generous... Mark could also win for himself a new SUV! So Mark can win a new car 
and a new SUV. Huh, I wonder if he could win something else. Well, it turns out that he can. Mark can also win a new truck. That's right. Mark can win a new car, a new SUV, and a new truck playing what else? Triple play. This is the game's first playing of season 43. And more about the game in the acknowledgement section. Now, as we all know in triple play, you can't win one car, or automobile in this case, or two automobiles. you got to win all three to complete that triple play. Now, we went over to car number one first at door number one, and it was a Chevrolet Cruze LS. It comes equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, 6-speed manual transmission, remote keyless entry, Bluetooth, and OnStar. That was modeled by Rachel. And Manuela brought out the two car prices. They were $17,890 and $20,192. Mark had to find the price that was nearest to the actual retail price without going over. Mark believed $17,890 was the price nearest to the actual retail price of the Chevy Cruze LS without going over. And when Drew pulled that price behind, it was the word... Yes! The actual retail price was $18,670. Now over to door number two with the SUV. It was a 2015 Dodge Journey SE. It comes equipped with a 2.4 liter engine, 4 speed automatic transmission, and front wheel drive modeled by Manuela. Rachel brought out the three prices for the SUV. They were $18,395, $20,499, and $21,810. Mark believed $21,810 was the price nearest to the actual retail price without going over. So if 21810 was nearest to the actual retail price, Mark would then go on to play for the truck. And, uh, excuse me, let me just tell you that the truck that was at the end of the triple play uh, at door number three was a Ford F-150 truck. And that was modeled by Rachel when it was revealed. And just to let you all know, uh, when they revealed the cruise and the journey, Rachel modeled the cruise and Manuela had the journey. Just to clarify on that. 21810 Mark believed, was the nearest price of the Dodge Journey SE without going over. And when Drew pulled that price back, behind it was the word... I wish Mark had chosen. The actual retail price, $20,990. Ah, too bad. But Mark still has those underwater cameras. Alright, it is now time for the first showcase showdown. The first contestant to spin the big wheel was Mark. In Mark's first spin, he landed on... 20 cents. Mark chose to spin again, and wisely so. And to add to the 20 cents in Mark's first spin, he got in his second spin 15 cents for a total of 35 cents. He didn't go over, though, so that's the good news. Walter was the next contestant to spin the big wheel. And in his first spin, Walter landed on a dime, 10 cents. So he had to spin again. He needed at least a quarter, but no more than 90 cents. And to add to the dime in Walter's first spin, in his second spin, he got 
Well, you won't believe this. Ninety-five cents! That's a total of a dollar five! Oh, can you believe it? Walter went over. Ooh, tough luck. So Mark was still alive. Now Emily was the last contestant to spin the big wheel. And in her first spin, Emily landed on... But uh, it's 
It appears that Sarah should have chose the plates and not the margarine spread. But she still has the smartphone and the smartwatch. Okay, the next contestant to be called to come on down was... Jillian! And the next item up for bids was... A cupcake stand, one domed cake, uh, one domed cake plate, a mirrored console and tray, plus one crystal table lamp from Lamps Plus, modeled by Manuela. The bids were Jillian three hundred dollars, Clayton eight hundred fifty dollars, Anicia one dollar. He's the second contestant to uh, bid $1 by being second to last. And Santiago, $851. And the actual retail price of these Lamps Plus accessories, we'll call it, was $1,204. Santiago is contestant number five to play a pricing game. And we have learned that Santiago, who is dressed in his uh, naval uniform, is a submarine officer for the United States Navy. And, get this, Santiago is from Hawaii. Nice. Now, Santiago had a chance to win a pair of Honda PCX-150 motor scooters that were modeled by Rachel. Santiago's game was flip-flop. Now, the price of these motor scooters weren't $8,689. Santiago could flip to make the price $6,889, or he could flop to make the price $8,698, or he could flip and flop to make the price $6,898. Santiago chose to flip and flop, making the price of the motor scooter $6,898. I was feeling very good on this choice. So when Drew let Santiago press the button to reveal the price of the motor scooters, it turned out that they were... Six thousand eight hundred ninety-eight dollars. Santiago is a winner. Drew was a bit surprised. He, I guess, he didn't think that was going to be the price, but it was. And including his one bid price, Santiago currently won eight thousand one hundred two dollars in prize. Alright, our final contestant to be called to come on down today was... Fran! And our final item up for bids today was an Apple MacBook Air laptop computer. 13 inches. And it comes with one laptop stand included, modeled by Rachel. The bids were, Fran, $1,599, Jillian, $1,600, Clayton, $1,100, and Anicia, $1,101. And the actual retail price of the laptop computer with laptop stand included was $1,000. $259! The winner was Anicia! Now, Anicia was one of the first four contestants. And she was the final contestant to make it up on stage. And what better prize for Anicia to play for than, guess what? A new car! And it was a 2015
2015 Kia Forte LX Sedan. It comes equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, 5-speed automatic transmission, and AVS four-wheel brakes. That was modeled by Manuela. So, Anicia had a chance to win a new car. What a great prize to play for in a pricing game. Oh boy, Bad News Barrett is trying to tell me something. Anicia's pricing game she was playing was those three hated words. Doesn't take a genius to know what it is. It's, that's too much! Alright, let's get it over with. First price, $16,385. Nisia went on. Second price, $17,500. Nisia kept on going. The third price, $18,662. Nisia kept on going. The fourth price, $19,910. And that's when Nisia said, That's too much! So, she believed $19,910 was the act, um, the price that is just over the actual retail price of the Kia Forte LX Sedan. This to me looked like the price that was just too much. Now it was up to Manuela to reveal the actual retail price of that Kia Forte. When she did so, it turned out that the actual retail price was... $18,405! Anicia went one price too many! Son of a bitch! Yeah, I, I'm going to use a little profanity when it comes to a loss in this pricing game. As New York City 87 calls it, that's too fucking hard. Yeah, $18,662 was the too much price. Nisia still has the laptop computer. All right, on to the second showcase showdown. The first contestant to spin the big wheel was Anisia. In her first spin, she landed on 65 cents. Anisia chose to spin again, taking a bit of a risk here, I must say. And to add to the 65 cents in her first spin, Anisia got in her second spin. 55 cents for a total of a dollar 20. Anicia is over. All right, Sarah was the second contestant to spin, and in her first spin, she landed on 45 cents. Sarah chose to spin again. So, if Sarah goes over, Santiago will automatically be in the showcase. And to add to the 45 cents in Sarah's first spin, in her second spin, she got 15 cents for a total of 60 cents. So Sarah was still alive. Now on to Santiago's spin at the big wheel. In his first spin, Santiago landed on... 90 cents! And Santiago is on his way to the showcase! So, Sarah has been defeated by 30 cents. Alright, the top winner in today's showcase was Emily, and the runner-up was Santiago. Now, for showcase number one, that included um, prizes involving the term uh, uh, glamping. We had a Kirkhams.com custom-made durable deluxe wall tent with a pair of extra comfortable cots and spacious sleeping bags plus one lantern modeled by Rachel. A Somerset outdoor living cast aluminum outdoor dining set 
model by Manuela. Also, uh, well, this was camera model, this next prize. A 32 inch Sunbright TV LED outdoor HDTV, though technically that was with Manuela as well. And a trip for two to the Maldives, round trip coach from LA for a six night stay in a Lagoon Villa at an exclusive award winning glamping resort with daily breakfast and personalized butler service included. That was also modeled by Manuela. Emily chose to pass that showcase to Santiago, and Santiago bid uh, $19,000. Showcase number two, Emily was bidding on a trip to Mount Rushmore. That's in South Dakota. It's round trip coach from LA to Rapid City with rental car included. Modeled by Manuela. A trip for two to Niagara Falls. Round trip coach from L.A. to Buffalo, New York. And uh, the Buffalo area has gotten a, a major snowstorm uh, as of late. Uh, I uh, want to give a little shout out to uh, uh, Newkirk G-Man 2. If, um, he's um, alive up there and being safe. And uh, trip to Niagara Falls is then on to Niagara Falls via rental car from Buffalo. Uh, that trip was also modeled by Manuela. And a Hyundai Veloster Flex EcoShift DCT. It comes equipped with a 1.6 liter engine, automatic transmission, and Bluetooth modeled by Rachel. Emily bid $22,000. For the showcase reveal, Drew went to Santiago first. Santiago's bid was $19,000. Actual retail price? $23,347 for a difference of $4,347. And now over to Emily. Her bid, $22,000. Actual retail price, $33,298 for a difference of $11,298. Santiago wins his showcase! And Santiago won himself a grand total of $31,449 in prizes on today's airing of The Price is Right. Pretty good job. Two pricing games won today. They were in Secret X and Flip Flop. And uh, Emily and Santiago, who are in the showcase, are the MVPs of The Price is Right. Emily also won the uh, tea kettle to go on with her trip to beach. Now, Benjamin James Mason from BJMTV Canada has the following acknowledgement. This isn't right. Triple play being played third? This is only the second time that it got placed in a slot other than first. I haven't forgotten about November 9th, 2012, the day us loyal friends and true got one of the biggest shocks in daytime television. <laughs> yeah, it's only a matter of time Triple Play will either be played second, fourth, or fifth. Wow, uh, it only feels better when Triple Play is played first. Mike Richards, I think, is... Um, Funding for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by 4C Ice Tea Mix. So that's going to wrap things up for the Price is Right pricing and recap. I'll see you all again next time. Until then, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. So long, everybody.